Aluminum or Aluminium Aluminum is the 13th element in the periodic table, which means it has 13 protons in its atomic nucleus. This is the third most common element on Earth's surface and the most abundant metal overall, comprising about 8.2% of the crust. And despite being so abundant, until a process utilizing electric currents was developed by Charles Hall and Paul Harold in 1886, metallic aluminum was a very rare metal, only used in jewelry. In fact, in 1860, Napoleon III of France spent a small fortune ordering a silverware set made of aluminum, just to impress visiting dignitaries. The element aluminum is formed in stellar furnaces or in supernova explosions by the fusion of a nucleus of hydrogen with one of magnesium. In nature, aluminum is found in over 270 different minerals, the most common being bauxite and gibbsite. Most deposits are found in Australia, Brazil, Guinea and Jamaica. And the global production of new metal is of about 20 million tons a year, with estimate global reserves of about 6 billion tons. But not all aluminum is taken from the ground. About 50% of the total metal production every year comes from recycling. This is good, because new aluminum production requires a lot of electricity, taking an estimate 5% of the entire energy production of the United States alone. While recycled aluminum only requires 5% of the energy needed to produce the new metal from ore. The name of this element derives from Latin alumen, meaning bitter salt. In English, the element name can be officially spelled in two ways, aluminum in the United States and aluminium in the rest of the world. The first documented uses of the element was in the form of the salt alum, which was originally exported from Turkey as a fixing agent in dyes. In the Roman period, alum was also used to stop bleeding, an application that continues to the present. In its pure form, aluminum metal is shiny and very malleable. It also has very low density, making it extraordinarily light and strong when combined with other elements. Aluminum is used pretty much everywhere, from electric cables to cooking pens, and from structural frames in buildings to critical elements in space rockets. Several precious gems are also made of a crystal form of aluminum oxide and small amounts of other contaminants, such as cobalt to make sapphires, chromium to make rubies, and iron to make topaz. And let's not forget about transparent aluminum invented by Plexicorp in 1986, thanks to Scotty. Because it is so abundant in soil, plants and animals are very tolerant to aluminum, and about 1% of the dry mass of some tea leaves are of the element. The human body has about 60 mg of the metal. Some people are allergic to low amounts of the metal found in antiperspirants and some antiacids. But even those who are not allergic to the element can be intoxicated if consuming more than 40 mg per kilogram of their body mass. Most aluminum in food, however, is not absorbed by the body. In the 1970s, some dialysis patients started developing progressive brain damage, a problem later linked to high levels of aluminum coming from parts in the equipment. This caused great concern with the public, as cooking in aluminum pans was and is a very common practice. Aluminum was also thought to cause Alzheimer's, but the link to the element was later discarded and found to be caused by an agent used to enhance images of brain cells used in the study. But most recent studies show that cooking in aluminum pans does not significantly increase the amount of the element in food unless when preparing acidic dishes, such as tomato sauce. The normal consumption of aluminum in food and drinks average about 5 mg a day. Vegetables such as spinach, lettuce and onions are particularly good sources, and so is processed cheese. Most of it, however, is not absorbed by the body. Do you like what you see? Subscribe, like, comment.
For additional references and other YouTube videos on aluminum, please refer to the description field below. Thank you.